hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is Larato Simuelo and this is my very first video of many to come um, welcome to my space and I look forward to interacting with you going forward so I put together a couple of questions I just thought as an icebreaker how about I start with the get to know me video you know so because I don't have <laughs> that much of a following on social media you know so I thought let me google the questions let me ask around um, um, friends family what kind of questions would they want to so anyway um, please don't mind if I keep on looking down I'm just looking at my questions because um, I did write them down um, on a notebook because I'm using my phone to, to, to film so yeah let's get into it. the first question is um, where are you from I'm from Soweto paternal side from Lezani maternal side from Mabeka um, I was raised there in Soweto for a good, I could say, eight to nine years because if my memory serves me correctly, we moved out of Soweto with my parents when I was about eight or nine because by the time I was ten, we had already moved out of Soweto. I remember that clearly. Um, so the next question is, do you have siblings? Yes, I've, I do have siblings. Um, I'm the first of two girls. Um, my younger sister is Vitumelo. Um, we are five years apart. Um, going along in this journey, you'll see her as we go along. Um, we are two totally different people. We are two opposites, but I guess there's that saying, Urbana ba you know, so we are the definition of that did you attain school i attended school in st catherine's convent here in johannesburg in florida um that was my primary school my early primary school up until i think grade two if i'm not mistaken then from there on i went to saxon world which is not too far from houghton um, and then I attended my high school in Waverly Girls High. Where do you work? Um, I used to work um, in the aviation industry as a flight attendant for 13 years. So the next question is, what can we expect from your channel? Phew. Um, what you can expect from my channel is motherhood, my motherhood journey, um, a bit of chit chatters. Um, for now, I'm gonna start with bi weekly vlogs for now, and then as we go along, I'll turn them into weekly vlogs because obviously, this is my first time starting, so there's still a whole lot of things I'm getting familiar with. But please just bear with me, we will find our feet that I'm definitely sure of. Live updates here and there, and we'll see how it goes, you know. Um, the next question was, do you have a child or children? Yes, I've got two boys named Ompile and Zolopile. Six years of age and Zolopile is four years of age. Both turned, this turned four and six. Um, yeah, I could go on and on and on about those two, but basically those two are my world. So the next question is... What's my religion? I'm a Christian, born again Christian, have been now for as long as I can remember. Um, but to be honest, you know what? You know, as children, um, you tend to follow your parents' um, religion, religiously so, because they do it, and because you know, on Sunday you need to go to church, you know, and, 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 but you know, when I came of age and I came to realize who God is to me, you know, that's when I started taking church and my religion very soon. Um, the next question was, describe yourself in three words. <laughs> um, you know what, I won't lie and I've heard it a lot of times and I've come 
come to see it as well um, one of the words that best describes me is calm you know I'm a very calm I don't know I, I, um, I think I get that calmness from my mother because my mother is also one very calm person calm humble if you can fit those two into one category yeah that's me I'm ambitious you know I believe in hitting the ground running and um, I must say now more than ever that ambition has really really had to kick in you know it's, it's really had to kick in especially during this time um, during the start of this pandemic in South Africa when it hit South Africa you know that's when I realized well you know what I need to tap into this ambition because for the longest time I was so relaxed don't get me wrong I was ambitious I was doing things you know but not as much as I'm doing now not as hard as I'm pushing it. Would you describe me I would say intentional I'm a very intentional person and again this came with age you know this came with age to be intentional you know in everything that I do I am intentional you know um simple things buying gifts you know um, having conversations I love having meaningful conversations my presence felt you know but not in an imposing way and not in a forceful way you know but I, I would like to know that people I would want people to know that I was I genuinely enjoy beautiful meaningful um, conversations you know purposeful conversations you know and obviously yes I know it's not gonna happen all the time you know sometimes you listen to I find it go let loose you know but when I do I always like to be intentional with my advice my intentional I'm definitely an intentional person okay let's move on to the next question so the next question the next question is what do you value the most I value family you know without a doubt that is the first thing that comes to mind I value family you know and I've always valued family don't get me wrong especially during these times of this pandemic you know I've just held on to family even more you know and I think maybe you'll see most of my vlogs I'm always around family and you'll see that you know my kids my mother my sister you know because now more than ever you realize that your life is truly a privilege you know it is such a privilege to be alive you know many would have loved to be around their families many would have loved to have their loved ones still with them but they couldn't you know because of life happening you know so i value family so much and anybody who knows me knows how much i value family and um time time yo i cannot i cannot emphasize that enough you know you can waste anything you know you can waste money you know but do not waste my time i'm such a huge and firm believer in time you know with money the reason why i say you can waste money because money you can always make back you know can always make back and always get a salary at the end of the day i mean i beg your pardon you can always get a salary at the end of the month you know you can make money through hustling you know here and there and, and you can always regain money lost you know but you cannot regain time you know and as cliche as it is time lost is time never regained so don't waste my time you know don't waste my time i value time i value my time i value people's time that's why you find that in most cases i always always make it a point if i'm invited somewhere be there on time if i can't be there be courteous enough to say you can't make it because it really takes time for somebody to prepare for you time effort you know so i'm very big on time you know i'm one of those people who do not waste my time um another thing that i value will have to be health you know it's health and it's always been health you know but like i said um because of the pandemic you know everything has just been so heightened 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 you know and i've come to realize that um health is so important you know health is wealth 
I cannot stress that enough. You know, be it mental health, physical health, spiritual health. You know, for me, those I value so much. I value my peace at that point in my life. Where if things cost me my peace, if things cost, cost me my health, you can count me out. I'm not coming. Thank you very much. Um, sure, let's move on to the next question. Um, are you single, taken, or married? Um, I'm happily single. Um, am I looking? Um, yes, I am. Yes and no. You know, um, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, then it's no skin off my chest. My kids keep me very occupied. Two boys two boys guys you know and live the age gap as well you know it's like so it's like they constantly constantly feed off each other with their energy you know so yeah i'm single looking not really but if it happens it happens so let me just leave it there i'm open to anything why do you give your children the names that you gave them phew you know, I always said if I were to have boy children, these are their names. And if I were to have girl children, these would be their names. You know, and so I had two boys, you know. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I'll just jump onto the names that I thought for boys. You know, so Umpile, I named him Umpile because I felt like Mudimo Umpile. You know, Mudimo Umpile, what I asked him for, you know. And for me, it was like, wow, you know. Um, and then Tuelo Pele was just a form of me saying I'm moving on, you know, like life is going on, you know, like Hotuelo Pele, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but Hotuelo Pele Mugu Pilo, you know, and so I'd like to use those words, like I said, um, I'm very big on family, so my name, my children's name were around my family, my immediate family being my mother, my sister, and my two boys, you know, so um, this is how I say it. I say Mudimu Umpile Tuelo Pele Kale Rato Kabi Dumelo Le Kamuhao Kamuhao is my mother's name. My mother's name is Grace, but it translated into Sisoto, it means Muhao. Um, so, just to finish that off, I named um, my children amongst my immediate circle of family. You know, just that Mudimu Umpile Tuelo Pili, you know, Ka Lerato, Ka Bidumelo, Ka Mohao, you know, and I always say that um, look how far the Lord has brought you and look how much further you still need to go. So that's where Tuelo Pili comes in, you know, when I heard him, I was like, wow, look how far we've come, you know, and before I knew it, somebody else you know a new addition to the family you know and it could only just be blessings you know all of this in the midst of happiness um love you know and most importantly how you know god's grace you know so yeah you know i could go on and on but um, i think i'll end it here for now and thank you so much for taking the time out to hear what this journey and this channel is all about and i look forward to interacting with you and getting to know each other so yeah thanks for now take care bye